Hey, wait, before we get into the rest of the video, I just wanna quick tell you about some of the gear that my friend Dave and I used when we shot this video. I shot this video back in October. My friend Dave was in town and we just went during golden hour and shot some footage. He was shooting on his Canon R6 with his EF Canon adapted 24 to 70 lens. And I was shooting on the a7 IV with my Sigma 24 to 70 2.8. And it was really, really cool. This was one of my first times actually getting out and shooting with this combo. I'm new to having a full frame camera and having this lens. So it was just such a treat shooting in S-Log3 and I color graded it using a conversion LUT to 709 from Gamut and Creative LUTs from Eric Floberg. And I used two actually, I layered one at 20% and the other one at 40%. Eric did this in a recent video of Joe Greer when they were out shooting at Coney Island. And in the breakdown video, Eric was saying that he used North Park to bring the blues back into the sky and still have those deep colors while using Avondale, which is a more warmer cinematic LUT so that you get that warm, kind of nostalgic feel from it. Anyway, it's just, I've been having a lot of fun. I'm using those for my wedding films as well. And just the, the color experience in this camera using 10-bit 420, I'm not using 422 yet, but using 420 is just mind blowing and I'm just having such a good time with it. Now we'll get back to the video. I hope you enjoy. And in just a minute or two, I'm gonna jump back in and actually talk about something really, really motivational that Dave did. If you're thinking about starting a creative business and you don't have any clients, make sure to stick around or jump to the chapter marker where I talk a little bit more about that. And until then, enjoy the video and we'll talk soon. So for this whole video, we're up at Enger Park in Duluth, Minnesota. And before this, Dave and I were talking a lot about how he is wanting to book more clients and take on more work and build his own photography business. But it's really hard to start your own business and to find your clients, right? If you don't have a portfolio or if you don't know anyone that just would want to get together for a shoot, it can be really discouraging to have all of these ideas but not be able to take action on them and, and make something and make a portfolio for yourself. And I just kept telling him, I'm just like, hey, just take your camera around with you and just go make it happen. Don't don't wait and don't ask permission to go and, and make a portfolio for yourself, but just go up to a couple that you see and ask if you can take some photos for them. And that is exactly what he did. And I'm just so proud of him and so excited to see where his business grows. And so in this next section, it's just a little BTS of him going and asking this couple if they want to get their photos taken. Really taking advantage of that moment was just so motivational to me and I hope that it is to you. If there is work that you want to do, stop waiting, stop sitting at home, get out there in the real world and go and find your clients. Go and find those couples, go and find the people that you can make photographs of right now. And that is where you should start and that's how you can build a portfolio and get your creative business off the ground. I hope that you enjoy this section and find it motivational. Hang on, sister, coming down the road again. The two up there. I ain't got much money, but I spend it all on you. Hug each other, you know. Like, where you going, tripping over lights, we're drawn in the sand. Much time, but I do it all again. Together, natural. Look at that. That's awesome. 
so much for watching i really appreciate you sticking around all the way to the end it's only like 10 percent of people that make it all the way to the end of these videos so if you have make sure to like the video that would be really helpful for for me and subscribe to um, help support my mental health and putting food in my cat's bowls <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Um, but seriously, thank you so much for being here. If you aren't subscribed, make sure that you do. I have some announcements coming soon and subscribing is gonna be the best way to follow along with me and what's going on in my life, in my creative business and on this YouTube channel moving into 2023. There are lots of new things coming and I'm really excited to show you. And with that being said, we will see you in the next one. Have a great rest of your day.